Agunkwa Playhouse is now presenting the musical Singin' in the Rain. It is closely based on the movie of the same name, which is widely considered the greatest movie musical ever made. At Agunkwa, the lead role in Singin' in the Rain is played by actor Max Clayton, who grew up not all that far from Agunkwa, and who has been singing and dancing since he was a boy. I did a production of The Sound of Music in um, Manchester, New Hampshire, where I'm from. At the Palace Theatre, I played Kurt Von Trapp, and I fell in love with it. You grew up in Manchester, New Hampshire. For this show, are you having family and friends who are going to be coming over or have come over to see you oh, in huge numbers? Huge numbers, by the bus load. I've had, I think the most people I've had in one show is 70 friends and family in uh, one performance. You've performed on Broadway, so you're no stranger to yeah. big audiences and the pressure and so forth, but I would think that there is a unique kind of pressure when you know that there are 50 or 60 or 70 people who know you better than anyone else in the world, the people you grew up around who are sitting out there watching you on stage. It's more nerve wracking. You know, I've performed for tens of thousands of people and I love that and it, it doesn't really phase me. I've performed at Carnegie Hall, Radio City, live televised events all the time and there's something about a Gunkwit Playhouse is super intimate and there's really not a bad seat in the house and knowing that all my closest family and friends are in the audience watching me is it's like I'm in the living room again and it's that scarier I'd rather be in front of a sea of strangers <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the production it is singing in the rain and people who are familiar with it know of course that there has to be rain and my understanding is that the folks at Gunkwood Playhouse have come up with a kind of ingenious way yeah. of really making the rain effects work. It must be kind of an odd feeling for you to be up there dancing and singing in the middle of a theater as there's rain coming down from the ceiling. It is incredibly odd and incredibly magical. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, I've a smile on my face. It's the end of act one. And act one is a beast, and I do a lot of numbers, and I really don't leave the stage much, and that's sort of the big finale, and it feels like a renewal. Like, you're just drenched, and you are doing what you love for the people you love the most. I just feel grateful to do it. I feel like the kid again who's like jumping the sprinklers. I was always that kid. It really is wet. The folks in the, in the front row, if they want, have the option of getting ponchos, I believe? Yeah, the first two rows get ponchos. And let me tell you, I get them wet. And this, I think, is special to our production. I've seen Singing in the Rain done many times on stage, and I've never seen it um, done as immersively as we are doing it. And the audience just loves it. When I read about what goes into the creation of the rain, my first thought was, He's up there dancing, slippery. Yep. Have you had a couple times Luckily, where you almost knock on lost wood. your footing? <laughs> knock on whatever, I haven't fallen yet. There have been times where I find myself slipping and coming a little like from underneath myself, but for the most part, I've figured out how to navigate that. And with the proper um, rubbers on my shoes, mixed with the proper texture of the deck on the stage, um, we've sort of figured it out. But yeah, I have to be very careful. I have to be, I'm always thinking about it. When you have to do two shows a day, are you just exhausted at the end of the evening? Yeah, I am. I mean, I've, I, I've lost 10 pounds since we began because I'm just dripping sweat. It's cardio, it's cardio. It's not just the rain that you're it's dripping, not just the it's rain. the sweat too. The rain is like my shower. It's, <laughs> I, I look forward to the water coming down so I can get cleaned off. I read that one of the requirements is that the rain that comes down has to be at least 99 degrees. So you're <laughs> not getting doused with a cold shower. That's one is, thing you got going for you. Isn't that wild? Yeah, it's heated. And it, just like a shower, when you turn the shower on, it's chilly at first and then it warms up and it just feels so good.
You can see Max Clayton in Singing in the Rain at a Gunkwood Playhouse through July 15th. There's information about tickets and showtimes in the 207 section of our New Center Main app and website.